<laughs> oh, you better believe it's good. It's really good. Bar side movie reviews. All right, so I'm just gonna come out and say that I was shocked. The Crown on Netflix, wow, is really good. Definitely not the type of thing that I would normally watch. I am not a big drama guy, depending on what the movie is, but certainly something like The Crown, uh, I don't think so. But I'm so glad that I checked this out. Folks were talking about it on Twitter, so I said, let me check it out. And you know that one of the goals for 2017 on this channel was really start to look at things that are streaming uh, original content on a lot of the different streaming services. So I'm talking Netflix, I'm talking Amazon Prime, I'm talking Crackle, I'm talking uh, Hulu and all of those services. There are a lot of good original content coming out on those services and if you don't know about them then you might want to turn your attention there especially if you're looking for something good to watch but you're not necessarily a big movie goer like myself so the crown you guys this thing was extraordinary i don't even really know a lot of the folks that are in this save for one who was in season one but let me just tell you some of the actors in this claire foy stars in this matt smith stars in this and vanessa kirby stars in this as well as john lithgow who plays winston churchill in this series so the series surrounds the life of queen elizabeth the second and all that goes on during her reign so here's what makes this thing so interesting surprisingly interest interesting to me i'm surprised that i cared about this honestly but it is super fascinating to see what goes on with the aristocracy of that time and how there's a lot of conflicts between the individuals that are in kind of these prominent roles in British history. So you have all these decisions, right, that they have to make that don't necessarily correspond to who they are as a person, but correspond more to uh, what they have to do or who they are in terms of the roles that they inhabit in the office, for example, the queen or the king and all that good stuff and how the church and state is very much intertwined. So the church also has a part in a lot of the decision making. It's really interesting to see. It's also pretty cool to see what part of this is historical or not. Now, what's interesting about this is if this is something that you didn't care about as you watch it unfold, you do begin to think about what part of this is historically accurate and what isn't. And as it turns out, some parts of this actually are and some parts of it are not. And it's really interesting to kind of try and figure out what those parts are. But it's also fascinating to kind of look into the lives of people that we have heard of throughout history and just look at the interactions between them and kind of how they live as opposed to the rest of the people, how the notions they have between them and the quote unquote common people, if that's the right term. I'm supposed to be using all of that's really really interesting and it's kind of told in and in a matter of fact way kind of like this is just the way it is no commentary no excuses no how terrible this is or anything like that it's just telling you how it was during that time and it's really really fascinating to see that it's also fascinating to see what goes on with the royal family and the interworkings of all of that and how everything is not sunshine and and rainbows or unicorns or whatever but it's presented that way when we from the outside look on it makes you wonder like how things are with the royal family when we see them now it's just all of those interworkings are really fascinating to see in how they need to do the things that they need to do to preserve the perception of the royal family in front of Britain. So it's really fascinating to see. John Lithgow as Churchill is amazing. And he was particularly fascinating to me because I just got finished watching a series on American history and they highlighted, a big part of that highlighted uh, Churchill and the interaction that Britain had with America during the war. So it's it's just fascinating to see you guys i think that you will really really enjoy the crown plus it's shot in a way with such drama and intensity that i was surprised about as well when i see drama and intensity and for me it's either somebody is staring down the barrel of a gun or something like that but this was shot in such a way and it was acted in such a way and the writing of course really made this drama very very intense and it was something that you could easily binge watch something that you could cycle through easily because you were really fascinated to see what happened next the crown you guys is really really good definitely check that out you guys listen so i'm super excited tomorrow anthony and i from silver screen analysis we'll be talking about john wick we talked a little bit about it today on the phone we can't wait to get you guys tomorrow and share our thoughts on it 
you know what i'm not even going there wait until tomorrow you guys we're actually going to be streaming it live tomorrow so uh be on the lookout for that it should be a lot of fun we're looking forward to it guys thank you so much as always now if you would turn your attention to the bottom of the screen you'll see some white text somewhere and then a figure with me doing this those are both places where you can click and subscribe you guys so make sure you do that please give this a thumbs up please comment you guys let me know if you've seen the crown let me know what you think about it now none of that is going to apply in terms of buttons you can click and press to subscribe and like if you were watching this on Facebook because I also post there as well guys there's no active links on Facebook as I always say because Facebook of course won't let me put anything on there why because you know they want to keep you on the platform guys you have to click the link in above if you in the above description if you see this on Facebook all right you guys thank you so much and with that I will see you on the next video <laughs> bye bye